Hey everyone, today we're delving into the intricate details of employer-sponsored visas, and specifically, we're shining a spotlight on the temporary skilled shortage 482 visa, a crucial pathway for non-Australian citizens or permanent residents to live and work down under. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay ahead of the curve on all things visa-related. Whether it's employer-sponsored visas, skilled visas, family visas, or even tourist and student visas, our channel is your go-to source for the latest updates. Now, let's zero in on the employer-sponsored temporary skilled shortage 482 visa. This temporary work visa opens doors for individuals like you to experience life and employment in Australia for a duration of two to four years, with the enticing prospect of a potential pathway to permanent residence. To kick things off, eligibility hinges on securing sponsorship from an eligible sponsor. Your company must take the initiative to become a standard business sponsor, a process involving a comprehensive application submitted to the Department of Home Affairs. This application serves as evidence that the business is not only actively but also lawfully operating within the Australian borders. Supporting this application requires a dossier of essential documents, ranging from lease agreements and bank statements to business activity statements, tax returns, financial reports, and company registration documents. Typically, this approval process spans between two weeks to two months, ensuring that the company is equipped with the green light to sponsor employees. Once your company secures approval, they can nominate you for a specific occupation under the 482 visa. This nomination process delves into confirming the genuine need for your position within the company and adhering to market salary rates. To guide you through the process, it's essential to consult the occupation lists, which encompass the short-term, medium-term, and regional occupation categories. Find the link in the description for your easy reference. Ensuring fair compensation, the company must pay you at the market salary rate, considering local market conditions and comparable salaries of Australians in similar roles. The nomination process is generally swift, with applications being processed anywhere between one day to three months. Moving on to the visa application, you, as the employee, need to fulfill eligibility criteria, including possessing relevant qualifications, a minimum of two years of full-time work experience, and meeting specified English language requirements. A notable feature is that work experience doesn't necessarily have to be post-qualification, it can be acquired during your study period. The 482 visa has no age limit, allowing individuals over 45 to apply. However, potential challenges may arise when seeking permanent residency at a later stage. Be prepared for the financial commitment, as the visa process incurs government fees for standard business sponsorship and nomination. The costs vary based on factors such as occupation and company size. In conclusion, navigating the complexities of the 482 visa requires meticulous attention to detail. If you have concerns about your employer sponsoring you, communication is key. Many employers are willing to support skilled workers, recognizing the value they bring to the table. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.